Hey, I wanted to show you what I've been up to this week. Uh, this is my Craftsman 10 inch table saw. It's a pretty inexpensive saw. I've had it for maybe five or six years now. And it was probably $200 when I bought it, something like that. And it comes with a stand. Uh, it's not very heavy, which is why I have that um, photographer's bean bag down there on the bottom. It's got 10 pounds in it just to help hold the front of the uh, saw on the ground. That way when I'm making tough cuts it doesn't rock quite so much. Um, I usually brace it with my foot, but just in case. Now, the problem with this saw is that it's got some non-standard miter tracks in it. <clears throat> Works fine for the miter that they give you, the miter gauge that comes with it, but it's, um, it's too small. Uh, most industry standard would be uh, a three-quarter inch wide by three-eighths inch deep miter track without these crazy tabs on it. Um, I didn't want to grind those off. I've heard of people doing that with a Dremel tool, but I didn't feel like doing that. And there's uh, several of them across the face of the table, uh, also in this other miter track over here. So nothing fits, and Craftsman doesn't even have any aftermarket miter gauges or cross-cutting sleds or anything that would fit this track so it's very frustrating I've been to Sears a bunch of times looking through their stacks trying to find it I've been on their website I finally decided I'd make my own cross-cut sled and so what I did was I took some maple and I ripped runners that um, run along the outside edge of the table and the table is about 26 inches wide so <clears throat> I took a piece of melamine and uh, I uh, sized those runners with a couple extra inches to spare on each side of the saw so I could see them when I go to put the sled on the saw. It's easier to line it up. And then uh, I actually took the existing miter gauge and screwed it into my back of my fence just to use it as a handle. Um, it helps when doing really tough cuts. Uh, like 2x4s or 4x4s four to um, to be able to push from the bottom and really put your weight on it. So <clears throat> the handle helps. And this is my uh, safety uh, block. Basically my, my saw blade is right here and it goes into the the face and it will go in a few inches into this uh, double 2x4s. So that's uh, 3 inches right here and here's another inch and a half here. Um, but what I did was I marked the top of the table with a sharpie. This is where uh, I, I've reached a full cut on a 2x4 which is about the thickest thing that I ever really cut on this anyway. So I don't really have to go any farther than that. I can go a little past it before the stop block hits the, the saw blade. Um, <clears throat> but that makes sure that I'm not going to cut my fingers off and keeps my hands way away from the, the spinning blade. Next step uh, is to get a piece of acrylic uh, or Lexan and put it across the top from this side to that side um, just to keep the chips and dust out of my hair. <laughs> I'm getting covered in sawdust today since I'm not using the plastic guard that comes with the saw. Unless I can figure out a way to rig that up on that side, I don't know. Um, I think I'll just put a clear piece of plastic across the top so other bells and whistles that I added, I took, uh, this side is, is two sheets of uh, three quarter inch thick maple glued together and I routed um, a three quarter inch by three eighths inch deep dado in, my, in the face of my fence and I added Craig Mini T-Track uh, which I picked up at Woodworkers Emporium. And now I can add uh, other jigs or stops, feather boards, whatever I want, uh, anywhere along the, the face of that fence um, for repeatable cuts. Now I also have the same type of fence, but it's only three quarters inch thick. I didn't see the need to make it any heavier than it already is. Put the same dado in this piece. This is only 36 inches wide. This one's 48 inches wide. Uh, just so I have a really good platform for cutting 2x4s and longer, longer stock. 
which has always been a problem on this saw. So I think uh, I'm going to get much better cuts now. I've also got pretty close to a zero clearance um, top, which is uh, a big improvement. So now I can actually make uh, precision cuts. So hopefully everything I make will improve now. <laughs>